What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first little episode in our coverage of the Universe Sim. My name is Splattercat, very happy to have you here today. I've never covered this game on the channel. It's been in development for a very long time. And so after giving it, I think, copious quantities of time to at least have something done, I figured today would be the day. I'd sit down and I would finally cut a video and I would let you know what I think about the Universe Sim. So without further ado, let's jump on in and if we don't have enough time to do it in one episode, We'll do two or three then, but we're going to find out if this game, after several years of development, has reached the point where it's actually worth your time and worth yo money. Apparently we're unzipping. Oh, look at that. There's eukaryotes. Very nice. You coyote. You coyotes. They're kind of like coyotes, but littler. Thank you all once again for dedicating. Uh, yeah, I would like to play with tutorials. Sure, why not? A brand new beautiful planet. Can I pause the game? I would like to pause the game. It's 44 degrees Celsius, so that's pretty warm. It's a pretty warm day. Apparently that's planet-wide. There's no shift in the temperature whatsoever. Uh, we've got some kind of phallic thing going on right there with the lakes. I mean, to be fair, most of the lakes are vaguely phallic, and I think that probably says more about me than it does about the game. A brand new planet in need of your divine influence. Oh, goody. It's in need of my, I'm going to ruin this. I hope you all know this, that we're all going to die. There's no way. So, we've got to place an evolution tower. So, apparently, they want, uh, I guess, our little human beings or whatever they are. They're called nuggets. Hooray. I've got divine power up here. I actually, I'm a big fan of games like Black and White and whatnot. So, I've been waiting for a game like this for a long time that actually tried to capture that spirit again. And after the travesty that was Black and White 2, uh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, you could win the entire game of Black and White 2 by setting a tree on fire, picking it up, and holding it over the enemy base. And it would just set their whole base on fire. And you could win every level that way. I'm not even kidding. I did it. I figured that trick out was just like, oh, so I can just pick up a tree that's on fire and burn all the enemy armies to death by just dragging this over their faces? Yes, you can. And it was a game with flaws. It was a game with flaws. But still, we got to build an evolution tower. So... We gotta put our clicker over, oh look at that, we can zoom on in, but not too close, not too close. It looks like our civilization is mostly made out of rocks and whips. I think those are whips, yep, cats of nine tails. It's so that we can whip our followers into subservience. If they don't follow us, they need to suffer. We are a god! And not a benevolent one. I think we're going to be kind of like an evil god. Maybe not like an evil, evil god. But I'm thinking definitely kind of like a Conan quality god. Where, eh, probably like chaotic neutral at best. Lawful neutral at best. None of them are actually good and benevolent. They're all kind of awful. Uh, we'll build, there's supposed to be trees and rocks and berries and twigs and water around. That seems pretty good, right? That'll work. Let's do it. <laughs> Alright, so we'll rotate this around. And are you sure you want to put your evolution tower? No, I don't. I want it over here. I want it in the original spot. I am a picky god. There we go. So, it looks like our people need, from what I'm reading here, our nuggets need time. I don't know if I like being called a nugget. A nugget can come from a lot of different places. There are many different kinds of nuggets. Like, if I know you're a chicken nugget, then that's awesome. But if you're like a butt nugget, that's a lot worse. See what I mean? There's a lot of variance there in the whole nugget nomenclature. Ah, uh, and so they need huts, they need wells, and they need some other things. So, oh good, the huts will hold more residents as you advance through the ages. That sounds pretty good. All of our nuggets are apparently unique and they have their own vital needs. Sounds good. They will form families and they will make it to babies as time goes by. Sounds good. Get going. Alright, so let's jump on in here. So we've got production buildings. I'm going to pause the game so they don't, like, accidentally starve to death. Let's see here. Building will be available soon. Oh, so that's not implemented yet. Fantastic. Okay. Well, there's a reservoir. There's excess water that's generated by pumps. Ah, oh, we're going to do that with this game. Okay. I'm not a big fan of, like, overly production-focused games. I just don't... I don't know. I find that a lot of games are going in that direction lately because I think... Here, here's my, here's my admission. I think YouTube has done this. Production-related games, for whatever reason, always get really popular on YouTube, and they always get coverage. Like games with lots of pipes and tubes running all over the place. Stuff like that, and because they get tons of coverage, I think more developers are likely to use those. Can only be built on shores. Okay, we'll build one over there, then. That sounds fine. There you go. I gotta turn the game back on, though. It won't build while paused. So there is a pump. So we're like a prehistoric group of people, right? Like, we're hunter-gatherers. 
All right. Well, apparently there's like a pup ring thing going on. I don't know exactly where that's going to be listed at, but it says there's like a pump ring thing. So we're like cavemen. Let's get this straight at the moment. We're cavemen, and yet we've built hydraulic pumps. I'm just saying alternate timeline. We're doing pretty well for ourselves right now, having figured that out already this early. If I wanted to build some pipes and stuff, like how do I build... I'm assuming this needs pipes to run to somewhere. So progress bar to the value to the right of the indicator, how much excess water is being pumped into your reservoir. I don't have any reservoirs right now, so I don't think that's going to matter too much. Uh, is this... Oh, that just takes me back home. Okay, take me home tonight. I don't want to... Eh, meh, eh, eh, bye, do, bye, bow. Alright, so... I think a well is probably... I think I leaped the tech tree there. I think a well is probably what we want to start with. I don't know how close to water it needs to be, but like... I don't know. I say screw it. Let's just drop it like... Right, yeah. That's right, build me a well. Greetings, little nuggets. Let me look upon you, for I am your deity. I am your god. What's up with these dudes standing over here that aren't wearing the same colors as us? Are they the enemy? Do we need to murder them? Do we need to purge them and teach them that their gods are false? And that only the splatter cat is the real god? So it's Adehi and Elu. And they appear to be doing something. Oh! They're getting jiggy with it. They're getting nasty. Alright, you guys like doing a thing over here? What is this? Oh, you're building a hut. I didn't tell you to do that. Elu and Adahi have agreed to begin production on new units. That's the most sterile way I've ever heard sexual interaction described. Like, we have entered a formal agreement for the production of further children for this society. I always figured you'd be like, hey, uh, you know, you want to watch Netflix for a little while? Stone flicks? Whatever it is that we got going on here? Hut flicks? I'm, I'm not really sure what would count here. So we have a well. The re look, It's the position on the planet. The further away a well is from a water source. I see. So Alu is now mature enough to handle copious amounts of manual labor. Fantastic. Shamba is all grown up. Time to find them something to do. To do. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So I've got supporters here. Are these... Are they the ones who are working on the hut? See, I like games where I actually tell them, like Dwarf Fortress, you tell them what to do. You'd be like, chop all this. Good. Or like RimWorld where you're like, chop away. Do your thing. So that's got a 40 output. Can I even make pipes yet? They're building a building anyways, so you know what? Let's just, like, look around. We have an eatery. Eateries are somewhat like watering holes of the Stone Age. It's where nuggets go to eat and make merry. Hmm. Okay. I don't think we have anybody named Mary yet, so I'm sure that'll work out fine. You never have enough Marys. So, water reservoirs. So we need a pump building in order for that to work. Okay. We'll make a reservoir. Should I put it, like, over here? I don't know if I should put it, like, near the water supply. It appears to need a lot of space to build, though. They may want to tighten that up in future revisions of the game. I'm the kind of person that likes my buildings to be sort of close together. And so, is that a hut right there? Man, that is a... You guys are not architects. Good lord. Did you just find, like, a bunch of loose boulders that were already there and then just run a carpet over the top of it and just, like, hope for the best? Jesus. Artistically, it's a little uninspired, too. I'm not trying to be mean right now, but I feel like we could be doing better. So if I click on this thing, they are occupation laborers. They are doing jack shit nothing right now. That's pretty cool. I mean, hey, we live in a leisure society. It's a leisure society. Is that filling up with water right now? Oh, look at that. It is. Sweet, I guess. I don't know. What does this mean? This bar tracks the current temperature surrounding the reservoir. The water is stored. Oh, because it evaporates off. Whoa, hey now. Good lord, that is some raucous lovemaking right there. That is a building that is made out of solid boulder stone. And they are rocking the foundations right now. Man, you better stop. You're going to have to take her to like a pelvic floor specialist or something after this, dude. You're going to wear out those hips. You're going to be like me. You're going to be like an old man walking around being like, my hip hurts all the time. And it's all because you were throwing it too hard back when your game was strong. Let's see here. A new nugget by the name of Aho has arrived. They are a little too small and squishy to put to work yet, though. Well, no food for you, then. No food for you, little ginger. 
Sucks to be you. I could feed you, but I'm choosing not to because you can't work. And you know what that means. He who does not work does not eat. Uh, let's see here. We've got a forecast tower. What? So apparently I can watch the weather. <laughs> That's a little weird. Okay. We can also do a fisherman's pier. Or we can do a farm. Takes 25 stone. I say we should probably do a farm, right? I, I think it's a good plan. I think it's something we probably won't soon regret. So let's build ourselves. Can I fit this anywhere else, though? Is there any way to get, like, these rocks out of the way? Like, let's say I wanted this rock to be moved. Is there a way for me to, like, give them a command and be like, Hey, little bitches, move that rock? Well, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ways that I can get them to knock over some rock. And so I'm just going to make, got to knock that rock. All right, so we're going to go with a farm, like, right here. And that looks great to me. I think that's going to work out perfectly fine because these dudes need to get themselves fed. Now, I don't know if there's enemies or anything like that that we have to worry about in this game. But we've already dug out like a little chunk of our planet here. Let's zoom out to maximum scale so you can see kind of what that looks like. Our planet looks a little unhappy from this angle. Kill me! Ah, oh, it's so painful. All of my orifices are made of fluids. Figures. That's the worst kind of god. The god that loses his subjects and just doesn't even know where they are. Subjects, where are you? It's so cold and alone out here. He built pretty quickly. Go ahead and prioritize that. I don't want him working on anything else. Oh, well, baby making's good too. I mean, if we can end up with some more citizens, that sounds pretty rad to me. And it's pretty rad for you too, because you're getting to do all the fun stuff right now. I don't know if you know about that, but as a deity, I'm, I'm asexual. I don't even get to experience that. I have created you purely so you can experience that. So you better be thankful or I'll take it away. Y'all be walking around like some Barbie dolls real soon if you don't say thank you. Real soon. It's vicious. It's in my god powers right now. I can I can render you all dickless in a moment's notice. No innies, no outies, no nothing. Everybody loses everything because I'm spiteful. I'm spiteful and I'm angry. So we've got Chuho and Chuha. Who are you? You're Aho. Okay. That's Chuho. And that's Chuha. Apparently there's not a whole lot of variation in naming nowadays. It's one of those time periods. Like, everybody's got kind of a similar name. We mostly speak in, like, pops and grunts. And like, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, that's what I imagine it probably sounds like. Because we haven't, like, refined the sounds yet, you know? We haven't figured out what it means to be all nasally. we got to get to that first, though, because how will we ever turn these little guys into YouTubers if we can't get them to learn how to speak good? If we can't get them to learn how to speak more gooder, how can we, how can we end up turning them into little cave YouTubers later on? Dude, we have so much water. Aho is now mature enough. Dude, he's only been alive for like one day. I feel like you're kind of throwing him on the construction line a little quickly. He's only been here for one day, man. You're already putting him to work? Seems a little harsh. I don't know any one-day-year-old babies that are going to be fantastic. Well, actually, I got those little baby hands. They might be able to fix the wheat thresher better than I can. We'll give it some thought. We'll give it some thought. I, I kind of I find it weird how they just do stuff. Like, I don't know if I like that or not. In terms of, like, an organic immersion experience, I do like that better. But in terms of, like, my control freak tendencies and my desire to just want to, like, control everything, eh, I, I feel like we could be doing better. So how do I know how much food I have? Like, where's our stockpile menu? Let's go find that. Well, it looks like they just gathered on their own. I don't see a key or anything around. Well, I mean, there's, like, this down here. The amount of oil remaining on the planet... The amount of gas remaining on the planet, and the amount of oxygen remaining on the... Oh, it's right there at the bottom of the screen, because I'm an idiot. That's fantastic. It's the little apple symbol at the bottom of the screen. We have four water consumption, 40 production. We have 14 food, and they're actually not consuming that much, so I guess we'll probably be fine. Uh, we have a farm over here. And so what I can do is it looks like I can just add people to it, and they will do their thing. It also appears as though certain crops like certain things. Food and herbs. Okay, so that sounds good. Okay, so I took a look at the tutorials. Simple enough. Simple enough. We need to assign farmers, though. So I'm going to put Aho on it. Yeah. Aho, you're my dude, man. You're my dude, bro. Get over here. I got to choose a crop, too. 
Manbro fruit, the manliest bloody diarrhea fruit. Why would you ever? What? I I feel like the cultivation of the bloody diarrhea fruit would be severely hampered by what I could only describe as the worst marketing campaign ever. And with the amount that these people are making love, that's just going to lead to a mess. That's pretty much all they do is eat bloody diarrhea fruit and have sex. And so I've got to assume that the carpets in this place are just the squidgiest mess that you could ever think of. Let's go with Manbro fruit because I'm not cruel. I'm not cruel and I'm not callous. And I'm not capricious like that. I don't feel like I had anything to do with this assignment. Like, I was clicking around and, like, nothing happened, and then I was just, like, sitting here, and a couple seconds later, he, like, assigned himself. Dude, you've got an Aloha shirt? Look at you over here. With your badass Hawaiian shirt. Look at you, son. Getting it done out here. Oh, no. There's no clouds, but that doesn't sound good. I'm a little bit concerned for our safety. Hopefully, things will turn out okay. So, we are planting mangrove fruit right now, and hopefully that'll make people feel nice and full and happy. I hope so, because bloody diarrhea fruit is the alternative, and I don't think you guys want to have that for dinner. I don't care if you deep fry it. Some things even a deep fryer can't save. Now then. We wanted to look around and see what else we have going on. We have a fisherman's pier. I think a fisherman's pier... Ow! Ow! I can crash my camera into rocks? Am I a god of glass? Dude, that's still kind of awesome, though. The god of glass. Like, yeah, I'm made out of glass, but I'll cut you. Like, <laughs> I could live with it. I could live with it. This individual says they're hungry, and so they're just going to farm. These people are inside the hut just going to town on each other. Just ravenous. Just in there, just getting it. Just making slapping noises and whatnot. It's just like, wow, man. Just... I, I guess this is kind of, it's condensing, because like each one of our little days here appears to be like a year. We have like a maple leaf or something going on here. Apparently, we have evolved to, we've, we've moved up. We are now Canada. Canada is the next tech tier. Hooray! Onwards. Huh, Canada. That's the only part of your, sorry guys, that's the only part of your national anthem that I know. Our home and sacred land. After that, I, all of my education on Canada comes from South Park. I'm sorry. I grew up in an insular world. So they should be able to build that pretty quickly. Apparently a number of people support this. I don't support it at all because fish is disgusting. I don't like fish. I enjoy like crustaceans. I'll eat crab or like lobster or shrimp or crawdads or whatever you got. But I do not like fish. I've never had a fish that I thought, yes, I would rather have this than a steak. That's never happened. I've never... Go ahead. I challenge you, Nerdcastle. I challenge you. Cook for me a fish that I want more than a steak. And I'll say I'm wrong. I'll say I'm wrong. I'll admit it right then and there. I'll say, hey, I was wrong. It does exist. My mom came close one time. She cooked a uh, lemon pepper fish one time that was pretty good, but it's still like the texture of the fish. It's still just not a steak. It's not a flank steak. It never will be. It'll never be a sirloin. It'll never be a New York strip. It'll never even be a chuck to me. I would eat a chuck before I would eat fish because it's cheaper. I'd just be like, yeah, it's still a steak and it's cheaper. I'm not fancy. Chuck steaks are delicious. I get them all the time, and I don't use them for stewing or nothing. You just mean, that just means you gotta you gotta cook them a little bit differently to get a better performance out of the steak, you know what I mean? I feel like this is a game that you don't really play. It's kind of like a game that you just, like, watch. Like, yeah, you do tell them to do stuff here and there, but for the most part, they all do it on their own, and you kind of just, like, watch things unfold, and then you deal with kind of production bottlenecks and things like that as you go through. So they're building this over here. They have added all of the stone that needs to be added, so that's pretty sweet. And the supporters for this project are falling off right now. Uh, you guys, you want water? Or are you drinking right now? Are you in the process of drinking? Okay, I thought maybe that meant that they needed water right this second, but no, it means that they're in the process of watering up. So Shamba Shambu and Aho. Shamba Shambu, do 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 do, Shamba Shambu, do do, Shamba Shambu. That's a song. That sounds like a song. I'm going to write that song. So apparently, they have some level of production. I do feel like the UI is a little busy. I, I like, um, I get that they're going for something stylized here, but I like games like Tropico, where everything has basically been minimized to the bare minimum that you need in order to, like, have what, well. See, nobody gets assigned when I do this. They just kind of like stay there, and eventually I've found that somebody will just come and do the job, weirdly enough. I don't know. 
when I click on people, it just takes them over there and it just gives me a population log from that side. It's possible that... Maybe I click that side. Ah, that's what it was. I was clicking on the bubble and you gotta click on that side. See what I mean? Like, there's weird little UI things that'll happen right there where it's not like that big of a deal. It's just a misunderstanding between the player and the UI. What's wrong with this building over here? Did you guys broke it? Well, that's what happens when you have sex so loudly and so violently that it shakes the foundation of the building. Like, I can't say that you didn't have this coming, because you have. You've had this coming for a long time. Punny. But anyways, we're going to walk away from it, not address it. Uh, my name is Splattercat. This game is called The Universe Sim. If you'd like to see another episode of it, check it on out. If you want to get the game for yourself and you think that this is an adequate level of development for you to jump in and support the game, I've also got a link for you down below. Aside from that, my name is Splattercat, and I am an indie game showcase. I like, I like to make it a little bit French at the end. Like it says showcase, but at the same time, it's got like E-U-R at the end. Showcase at the end because it makes it sound fancier. It makes it sound like I know what I'm doing. It makes me sound more artisanal. Either way, this game is called The Universe Sim. I hope you guys liked it so far. I consider it to be my life's goal to show off indie games every single day because indie games are rad and they're super awesome. Occasionally, you might also get some AAA stuff, but in general, that's what I do here at the channel. I will see you all later. Thanks for stopping on in. Goodbye, everybody. Mm -hmm.